Alright, so let's see what we got here. Oh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, we're about to get bodied by this team. LeBron James. What more can you say about the guy that hasn't already been said? He can play anywhere on the court. And he gets it done on both ends like nobody else in the league. We can't slow him down. This game can get out of hand real quick. That'll be one of the biggest tests of the season for me, that's for sure. Time to step up. Come on, hurry up and reload. Hurry up and load. Not reload, but load. A beautiful panning view over Salt Lake City, Utah. The capital city of Utah, shining under the night sky. We're going to bring you an interconference matchup in this We're about to get stomped by this team. Cleveland to play this one. It's the oh, God, it's Kyrie Irving. subbed in for Trey Burke. For Cleveland, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. So on the floor for Cleveland, JR. And at the point. You know, the Cavs had a slow start to last season compared to how everybody thought they would play. Still, it was the best start for Kevin Love in his career and would end up being the most winning team he's played on. Says something about how long he's waited for success. Five to shoot. Here's Withy. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Withy's got his first two points. Okay, so far we're holding our own. The Cavaliers are too good, man. They're my favorite team, by the way. First quarter play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Irving. The Cavaliers trail by four. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Let's go, let's go. We should not... Guy is a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing. What? Oh my god. He was absolutely trash. What leads teams to having success. Here's Withy. Great tee that time from Love. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of well, positions. They just completely they the blew rim, several layups right there. But the defense stood tall there. With he gets the bucket. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It, it really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their pass. Smith dishes to Irving. Got it from 16 feet. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it. Good decision to just rise up. Oh, my guy is so little. Oh, my God. And here's Freak. I should not make my point guard this small. Favors and easy two points on the layup. Favors got six. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That was not my fault. 
Utah Jazz. They come in off a loss to the Kings in Sacramento. And nothing to be ashamed about in, in that what? game. It was a great effort, I thought, all around. They just needed to have one or two breaks go their way. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, both teams, I thought, played well enough to win the ball game. And yet it doesn't work out that way. There are no ties. So, unfortunately, they were the ones who came up short. the second quarter so Utah going with an almost entirely new group here Derek Favors checked in for Rudy Gobert Hayward comes in for with Dante Exum he's checked in for Mac and Freak subbed in for Trey Burke Cleveland also making some changes Love check in for Fry and it's Kyrie Irving in for LeBron down low it's Hayward and Favors Freak is out there with Exum and it's Burks in at the small forward position that's the group right now for Utah they set the pick Freak kicks to Hayward. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. Good checked in for the Jazz. Then for the Cavaliers, Tristan Thompson comes in for Mozgov. And Smith subbed in for Shumpert. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Kings made some nice plays. He had nine points, and part of that scoring came from beyond the arc, adding a few threes to his already impressive season total. Overall, just an incredible bonus for his team as he made a big impact coming off the bench. Thank you, Doris. He was the player they uh, leaned on that night. He didn't disappoint him. Not at all. Came through in a big way. Whatever they needed from him, he was able to deliver. Well, I think he actually gave them a little more than what they needed. Terrific all-around effort. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. Cole, you need to stop it. Oh, my God. And last season was one where Tristan Thompson transitioned from a starter to a bench role. Didn't let the move bother him and still put up solid numbers off the bench. I see you, Hood. I see you. Oh, my God. Dude, that guy is a total bum. I have four assists. I don't care. I'm a giver. I got penalized for that. Come on. I had I did I had no control over my guy right there. Were you kidding me? What kind of stupid pick was that, man? There we go. Jesus. <laughs> and his impact. He actually had his best year in terms of shooting efficiency. Shot a career high 55% from the floor. Now, here is Irving. Defense right on him. Yeah, I guess I should just start be passing. Irving kicks to Delvedova. Puts it up. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And that concludes the. Yes, guys, I'm here. I don't want to talk. I don't want to. I don't want to hear their favors. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. 
with he's jacked in for Rudy Gobert. Burks comes in for Gordon Hayward. Billy, I love you, man, but I got it. I got to stop you. Yeah. Oh, Channing Fry, yo. Looking for the Cavs, man. Fry comes in for Kevin Love. Come on, Shepard. Oh, my God. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Irving. On the court for Cleveland. Filling out the wings at Shepard and LeBron. the rim at full speed like that man it's uh it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim james no good and you know what he's just not on his game no doubt about it their deficit isn't totally on him what not been oh my god i don't know about that call that made no sense no question about it no flop there that was a direct shot there was a flop rudy gobert he's checked in for jeff with it because it was like every single AI opponent. Down low. And with that, the Utah oh my God! This is how the AI works. The oh. heads up, aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Freak with it. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. His ball distribution tonight, just as good as it gets. Yeah, it sure has been. I mean, all you have to do is look at the numbers. There's no line in those totals. And slam dunk by Shepard. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's that's for sure. We beat turnovers. What? Out of bounds. This is not a... He literally he struck me that you're saying that's not a foul Cavaliers they come in off a good outing against the Clippers in Los Angeles it really this game is win for them especially considering that it came in an opponent's building and there's no question it was their offense if you're ever against a good if you're ever against a championship caliber team your skill level goes down no that's not how a game works never relaxed or sat back and as a result they eventually pulled away Welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. First, he's checked in for Utah. Freak comes in for Trey Oh, Brown. God, we're only up by two Cleveland now. Making a change. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Smith. The forwards are Hayward and Favors. Alec Burks is out there with... What are you doing, Favors? The pivot, manning the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. I can't wait. And so it's Cleveland with it. Trailing so this... Delavidova kicks to Love. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Delavidova. Delavidova's got four assists now tonight. And, and since the start. And that one comes up a bit short. The Cavaliers have gone 7 to 16th in the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Count the bucket. Now it's a three point Cavalier lead. That one just took the oh, well. line out of the crowd. Yeah, he simply said, sit down <laughs> and keep quiet with that one. And that's exactly what they're doing. There is no noise in the stands right now. Here's Freak. And Gobert kicks to Freak. 104 left to play here in the fourth. Gobert with a screen on Smith. Left side favors. It's good. And what a sensational bucket to bring them with. Favors can actually shoot a little bit from mid range. Favors can shoot. Jeez. Favors can shoot. Here's Thompson. Money. Oh, that's the shot of the game. Well, he was fearless enough to get it up and down, and it paid off for him. To the inside, Favors, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. That one on Love. What a game for Favors. He has nine rebounds and four blocks. Whether it's making the tough pass. Four blocks, what a steal, monster. By the way, he just missed the free throw. Had a great feel, really, for his teammates as well. Okay, so my guy can't score, so he's pretty much like a pass-first point guard. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. No coverage that time. 
All right, well, that's not my fault. Man, they came out smoking here from beyond. And Greg, as hot as they are from out Oh, I don't have anybody open for three. Not to just keep letting them fly. Hayward with the ball. Guarded now by Kevin Love. Burks dishes to Favors. It falls! And now they trail by just four. Right. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the foul called on Freak. That'll be his second foul of the game. So yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. So he goes two for two at the lock. And it's a six-point ball game. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off. Eleven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hayward passes to Fabers. He dishes it to Freak. Off the mark and a bad shot there. Then that's not the best of shot selection there. The defense. What do you mean? Oh, uh, we're trying to. That is the right shot. You're supposed to hit. Whatever. 2K is so dumb. Oh my God. They they don't know anything about basketball. LeBron James. He was the engine that drove this team the whole night. And folks, that'll wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, I know we he did. You enjoyed the game. The run at 16, Kevin Love at 14. Gordon Hayward at 24. I mean, you can't really blame me for that loss. L loss, obviously, because I didn't play much. Play much, and they basically start you off with a guy who can't do anything at all, purposely. I mean us, as in you and me, me and you, putting some serious thriller behind this and put me on, man. I'm Basquiat. What? You heard me? <laughs> I'm Basquiat. That's me. That's you? Yeah. One hundred. <laughs> okay, you nice with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Basquiat. Yo, we don't need no major label to make this happen, man. And in the end... We reap all the benefits. Think about it. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. Mm. I know as we pass Colonel Young Park too. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy was the best. I remember when she took us from park to park so we could play ball. And she taught us how to be comfortable in places other than the courts and the projects. Word, word. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy would have us shoot hundreds of jumpers all over the court with both hands. <laughs> hey, you caught onto the ambidextrous thing real <laughs> fast, though. All right. Now, but you were a beast with the hops. You were like 13, 
five sex and could reverse dunk with two hands. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> what? Ooh. Yeah, he used to bug all the older dudes out on the court. Yep. You know? <laughs> oh, good times, man. Good times. It's nothing, man. It's it's silly, really. Come on, Vic. Fess up. I'm just I'm thinking about how fortunate you are. You know how how blessed you are. You know, you, you grew up with a mom's and a dad. Both parents. Your family treated me like family when my dad died in Greenhaven in his ninth year on his 40 year bed. You remember that? And I turn around, my mom's died from that flu. Right. That sick parting gift my dad left my mom's. No, I feel you, Vic. It's all right, man. You know, your moms and pops were good people. You know, may they rest in power. So you're gonna patronize me now? Mm -hmm. You're gonna pity the little boy whose worthless, low-budget parents died from AIDS? Is that what you're gonna do? Yo, don't, don't pity me, all right? And don't blame me, neither. As a matter of fact, Go play the lottery, because, hey, you never know. Your chances might be better. Vic, 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 Vic. What are you doing right now? You got everything, don't you, freak? What do I have? Nothing. Man, I got nothing. You, you won't even, you won't even, you cheap butt won't even front me. The Skrilla I need to back me. A Basquiat mixtape, yo. Wow. And on top of that, I get banned from traveling with the team. I get banned from the locker rooms. I get banned from the arena. So what? Would you let them do this to your best friend, man? So what kind of friend are you? Vic, you being serious right now. You're serious. Yeah, Yo, you sound like you on some Welch's sour grape right now, man. You jelly? I ain't jealous of you, freak. You sure, man? Cause this, well, I don't know what you call this little tirade. It spreads like some Welch's grape jelly are you jealous like i said i ain't jealous of you freak. as a matter of fact i think you are jealous of me <laughs> hey, oh yeah that's right i think you jealous of the way that i'm laying it down with these hottie hotties on instagram while you stuck at home with your one blazing beauty yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah that's right yeah don't get heated because you went behind my back to get at yvette and she turned you down Hmm? Oh, well, well, what's wrong, Boss Kiats? Yeah, that's right. Look at you. Out there drowning in the middle of a whack lake without a lifesaver. Brother, real talk. Mm -hmm. You know how I get. All right, I was I was feeling a little friendly. I yeah. got a little loose with it. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, 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 you yeah. know me, man. Save that riff for Heathcliff. You bet told me all about it. I kept it on the low, low. See if you ever was gonna mention it. You did it. You broke the code, B. One never steps to his boy's boo even after they break up. But you broke the code. And you know you did. But you know what? It's still all love here. But it's you who chooses this life in these streets. You know, you wanna get on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tinder trying to chase these thirsty tens yeah use my name as a coupon reel them all in hey sweet thing hey sweetie pie hey shawty you know i'm a fof a friend of freak and then when they husbands and boyfriends start coming after you and you want to play the macho man role start throwing hands scrapping and fighting who's the one that has to bail you out of jail huh who's the one that has to pay these lawyers in six figure settlements huh me not you oh no not you Vic and then and then when you want to throw these lavish parties without consulting me who's the one stuck with the bill Vic huh me not you but me I have hit you off in the past 10 months with a quarter of a million dollars Vic a quarter of a million dollars that's a lot of money I don't mind you eating 
But when you're being a glutton, and a glutton off my plate, and my food... Love is love, but I'm keeping it ten times ten with you right now, big oh. One honey! As usual, one honey! Right, Freak. <laughs> You've been carrying me for a long time. I've been a burden and a hindrance to you. And I'm sorry. I thank you for your generosity of finance. I thank you for your generosity of friendship. And I thank you for your generosity of spirit. You know what? It's all good, my brother. But you owe me. Oh, yeah, you owe me. Yeah, how you figure Big that? Big time. Uh-huh. How? How? Dirt, bike, diamond. <laughs> Remember him? Dude who was robbing everybody in the towers? Vic, I thought we were never, ever gonna talk about it. Oh, you thought wrong, homie. <laughs> ah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Remember when we were on the stairwell in the building? Remember that? We had just brought our sheepskin coach from Delancey Street, a senior year of high school. You were the hottest prospect in the country. <laughs> And, and Donnie's jealous butt, man, he had it out for you and me. But more so you, Freak. More so you. <laughs> Remember when he saw our brand new fresh sheepskin coats? Oh, dude lost his mind. He ran up on you and told you to run it. Man. Oh, man, he wanted your Yo, coat. Yo, no, big. Oh, he wanted big, it so big, bad. No, we were fighting, all right? We were fighting. Okay, then he reached in this coat. And when he pulled, yeah. we struggled, man. Yeah. And when he pulled back, he fell down stairway by himself that's right, that's and right, cracked his right. head in two. Yo, man, hey, calm, down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yo, it's all good. It's all good, fam. I was there. Remember that? I was there. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> Just like you said, everything happened so fast. You know, you, you was working off of adrenaline and pure instinct. I know you didn't try and do it. I know you didn't try and do it, man. Anyway, I took care of all the loose ends when you ran down the flight of steps. Left me holding the bag. Yeah. So your secret is safe with me, Freak. Has been and always will be. Safe from that same morality clause that you threw in my face when I was banned from your NBA life. <laughs> so, next time you Want to talk about food? Remember. Dirt Bike Donnie looked at you like food. Who was it that saved the day? Me! It was me! Victor Van Leer, who cleaned your dirty plate for you! You're a clean freak. You clean it in the board of health. Because of who? Because of me! You got all this because of me! And don't you ever forget that! I'm so funny. Are you gonna get kicked out of this? You gonna get kicked out of this? Yo, I need you to ask you for one more favor. Yeah, that's hilarious, bruh. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, it might be the last favor I ever ask of you, but you gotta admit that's for you. Bro. Yeah, of course. Anything for FOF. <laughs> oh, hey, says the NBA megastar, his voice dripping with the sarcasm. <laughs> hey, yo, peep this. Let me borrow this here ride, man. <laughs> right, come on, come on. It's not like you're gonna miss it. It's just gonna sit in your Tribeca garage next to your Aston Mine and your Lambo, mm. and we both know they're collecting dust. <laughs> Yo, how many whips you got anyway? Man, come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't even wanna know. Yo, this ride is for sure <laughs> not gonna be that for all the hotty hots. <laughs> man, we living a life, man. <sighs> My 
main man frequency vibrations. We for sure living the dream. I need this back at the end of the season in the same condition. Repeat, same condition. Same condition. That I lent it to you. Mm -hmm. Pristine, Vic. I know, I know what that word means. <laughs> hey, I won't let you down, man. I'm gonna treat this ride like one of my own hottie hots. No. No? No, you not. Not in this car, you not. No. <laughs> All right, man. I won't let you down, okay? I will change my ways, I promise. Yo, you hungry? I'm hungry, man. Let's go get something to eat. Get, 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 get some grub. No. What do you say? What do you say? Wow. Freak. I didn't expect you to be here. How should I practice out, Ryan? Hmm. You okay? What's going on? Same old, same old. Hmm. Wow, your shoulders are really tight. Are they stressing you out again? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know you always got me, right? Hmm. I'm always gonna be here. Baby, I'm your ride or die. And as quiet as it's kept, you and I are the real team freak. <laughs> of course. What are my moms? I never had this feeling with any other woman in my life. And she gave me a different feeling, which was something I felt like. I never asked for my girlfriend. It just became that. You, know, you could tell when we started falling, like, I get a text message and she's like, huh, who's that? And it's just like, oh, so we worried now. Oh, so no more of that? All right, you know what I mean? So that's how, that's how I came to agreement. So what's different about you then? Well, when you could teach me something or give me knowledge about anything, I'm already attracted to you as a person. I love learning. and. She was very intellectual, and she's a very strong woman. And in this life, I need a strong woman. All right. First off, I'm not expecting us to make the playoffs, so, I'm, so I think we got like two more games before. Because I don't, I don't, I don't even know what our record is.